Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul. I know that you guys really do enjoy watching my grocery hauls, so I thought I'd show you everything that I got for this week. Okay, so the meals that we're having this week, one is like a homemade, really easy, instant ramen noodle dish. Next is a corned beef or silver side. They're both pretty much the same thing. And then the other thing is a beef stew. Now, the reason why we only have three, three, three meals for the week is because the silver side will be two meals for both of us. And same with the beef stew as well. So we actually will get a fair bit of food out of those meals, which is more cost effective because you have to buy less ingredients. Um, okay, so let's get started. I'm not going to do this in any particular order. I'm just going to pull things out of the bag. So first thing is this ramen noodles. These are really good. They're really hard to find now because they went like viral on TikTok for the instant ramen noodle dish, which is where Lewis found the dish that we're going to have tonight. It's really good. You just add egg, spring onion, barbecue pork, like hot oil with like chili. It's delicious. Next are some yogurt. So I got these Tamar, yeah, Tamar Valley yogurt. I got a blueberries, mixed berries, and I got some mangoes and cream and oh, I actually got two mango and cream. So I got four yogurts for the week because it's only a four day work week as well. Today, Monday is a public holiday. Um, next is the silver side or the corned beef. So I got a 1.2 kilo corned beef. If you are wanting to save a bit of money, especially during this winter time, buy cheaper beef cuts. So things like silver side, what's the other one that I got? Silver side and chuck steak. So this one here is chuck steak and it is 600 grams. And I believe this was $12. So they're really affordable pieces of meat. And if you put them in a slow cooker, they become really tender and really, really juicy. So that's my advice to you. If you are wanting to save a little bit of money this winter, especially with the cost of living going up, purchase cheaper cuts of meat and put them in the slow cooker. So chuck beef and silver side, delicious. I also was naughty and got just some like dessert for next weekend, some Rolo. I don't know if anyone remembers having them in the actual tube things from like when we were kids in like the nineties, some tasty cheese. I also got these soups from Woolworths. They are so good. They're only $2.50 each. And I know that the plastic is really not good for the environment, but I'm going to try and reuse them, especially when we make our own like chicken and noodle or chicken soup. So I got, I think I got two, no, I got one potato and leek, two pea and ham. These are both for Lewis because I can't stand pea and ham soup. And then I also got a chicken and corn soup. I haven't tried the potato and leek or the chicken and corn, but I've tried the others. My mum and stepdad are coming over today because Melbourne and Collingwood are playing in the football. So it's like the big freeze. It's for MMD, like the charity to support people with MMD. And I got some beef pies. They're just coming over to watch the footy with us. I also picked up some little cocktail frankfurts. They didn't have the hot dogs, which is really annoying. So I'm hoping that these will be enough. I got two each. So hopefully they'll be enough for like hot dogs for us. Let's move on to some vegetables. I've got some spring onion, two broccolinis, 500 grams of frozen peas. These are just easy to add in with like anything that has mashed potato. Not a huge fan of peas, but they're just an extra green vegetable to add in to your diet and they're super easy to make. Some rosemary for the beef stew two bananas. These are slightly more on the green side, but that's okay because then they'll last me like later in the week. And then earlier in the week, I got some mandarins. I only eat imperial mandarins. I know that makes me sound like super princessy, but I only eat imperial because they are the sweetest and they're the softest as well. 
a bag of onions. Woolworths actually had a really good deal today that if you bought a bag of onions and a bag of carrots, it was $4 for both of them. So I thought that was really good. A bulb of garlic. I don't really, I don't really like to eat garlic, but it just makes the meals way, way more tastier. And then I just deal with the consequences later. Lewis needed some double A batteries. All of the like Everlast and I don't know what the other ones are called, Duracell. They are so expensive. I think those brands, it was like $12 for a 10 pack. This was $5.50 for a 10 pack. To be honest, they're probably not gonna last as long, but whatever, it's fine. All right, I got some tea. So this brand actually reached out to me during Easter, but unfortunately I didn't get the PR package until we came back from Bali and they sent me this Easter blend. So I didn't buy this, this actual tea, but they sent this to me. So I went and bought this brand of tea just to continue supporting them because their tea is actually really yum, super delicious. I got Lewis some Le Snacks, <laughs> some tomato sauce for the hot dogs. For a super easy like Sunday night, if we can't be bothered cooking or if we can't think of anything to cook on a Sunday night, I picked up some spaghetti to have like spaghetti and jaffles. One of my favorite, favorite dishes to have on a Sunday when you really see making something. I also got a whole peeled can of tomatoes for the stew. Some minced garlic because we were completely out. A two liter milk. A naughty bottle of Coke. So I'm gonna put this in the cupboard and we're gonna have it later in the week. So not hopefully not during the week, but a little bit later. Uh, from the deli, I also picked up What's this? Oh, some barbecue Chinese pork. This goes with this. So these two things go together. And then I also got for just like a snack for me to eat and Lewis to eat, as well as our cat, Schnicky, um, whenever she goes to the toilet in the litter, because sometimes she pees outside the litter, which is naughty. Um, but that's also telling us that her litter is dirty. Sometimes she gets into the bad habit of just continually continuously doing it. So every time she wheezes in her litter, she gets a treat and she loves chicken loaf. And the last two things are some hot dog buns and of course some eggs. So the ones, the Happy Valley ones that I used to always get, they have really increased in price. So I've tried to find a new egg brand to use that's a bit more affordable and that's not gonna give me a sore stomach. Um, this is the Nature's Free Range Eggs. They're really good. They're like 50 cents cheaper for like a dozen, which doesn't sound like a lot of money, but 50 cents over every single week of the year. 50, 50 cents times 500. I mean, 50 cents. 50 cents times 52. You tell me what that savings is. So yeah. Okay. That's everything that I got. I'm going to give you a quick overview of everything just so you can see what $120 got us for this week's groceries. Also, let me know down below if you would be interested in watching some videos on some more affordable meals, like what we actually eat for dinner during a week, because I know that I tell you a lot what we actually eat, but I don't show you how to make them or the end product. So leave me a comment down below. Would you be interested in watching something like that? All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as well as give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I will see you in a video sometime in the very near future. Bye, guys. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready?